Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nkenna. I am responsible for all the shenanigans here. As you guys can tell by today's title, I'm doing a video on personal statement tips in terms of applying for any type of pre-professional school. Hopefully this can help out people that are not just pre-med, but also pre-PA or pre-farm, pre-whatever, um, any of those pre-health professions, uh, pre-dent, whatever it is that you fall into, hopefully this can help you out. So tip number one is gonna be taking it all the way back to the old school, like middle school and high school days, but I would definitely have to say, um, do a thought diagram and brainstorm. So I typically like to just get a notebook, any type of piece of paper, printer paper, whatever it is, and then I always do like different colored pens and stuff, and I will write down like maybe the introduction paragraph is going to be one page and then like a supporting paragraph or whatever else is going to be another page and I just get all my ideas out onto paper just because I have a hard time organizing stuff and when I see it um, and I'm able to visualize everything that I'm able to get a cohesive picture of like okay I want this to go here and doing different colors like helps me color coordinate like okay this goes better with this um, so definitely brainstorming thought cloud just get everything out on paper tip number two would be to look at other people's personal statements in terms of getting inspiration and trying to just getting an idea of what you want to do and where you want to go with yours. I know that I read I think like maybe like 10 to 15 different personal statements. I didn't buy any books or anything like that but I do know people buy um, books that give them tips and pointers. I just read a couple of people's and then it just like struck me. I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to go with my personal statement. And I just started writing everything out and then I started typing and I went back and then I fixed everything. But just look at other people's to kind of get some imp inspiration and see where you want to go. Because I know initially I didn't know what I wanted to write about. I just knew that it needed to say why um in general it just needed to all come back to why do i want to go to med school why do i want to go into medicine so tip number two would definitely be if you know anybody that's in a pre-professional type of program already and they do have a personal statement ask them if you can read their personal statement or even go on google and type in sample personal statements and you can see just to get an idea the idea is to get inspiration not to plagiarize definitely don't want to plagiarize especially with something like a pre-professional school application you just you don't want to plagiarize so look for inspiration, but don't copy. Tip number three would be to be yourself. Uh, your personal statement, you need to look at it as a supplement. It's a chance for the admissions committee to look at you and get to know you even better. Okay, they can see on paper that you're really good, you get good grades, you're really involved, um, but your personal statement can really seal the deal. I know a lot of times people have told me that they've been told that their personal statement is what got them an interview, just things like that. You know, people, it makes them want to get to know you. So if you have just like some boring, generic, personal statement then they're gonna be like okay like what sets them apart so it's really your time to like tell your story set yourself apart and then just put in anything that you couldn't really uh put into the structured part of the application so i mean there's time to put in like your extracurriculars and time to put in your mcat score and time to put in all of that background information however this is your time to like really let them meet you like um, I don't know, think of it like your eHarmony profile or something, like what makes them want to pick you? Uh, it's, it's your little profile, like message information, background information that lets you stand out. Tip number three or four, I've lost count, uh, would be to proofread, proofread, proofread. I am the queen of not proofreading. My text messages, everything, I'm working on that. But um, definitely proofread. Read it out loud, read it in your head, read it to somebody else, let somebody else read it, let multiple people read it, just to make sure that you're grammatically correct um, and there are no errors. This is not the time that you wanna have any type of punctuation or grammatical errors. You just wanna make sure that everything is crystal clean. So let a lot of people see it so that you can feel confident and know that you are submitting the best version of your personal statement. And if you're somebody who doesn't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever and you don't have somebody to proofread over it then Grammarly also helps and just like I said read it on several different occasions. Read it today, read it tomorrow, read it next week. Just read it often and make sure that everything flows just cohesively and even and smooth and butter. And then tip number five 
or six, I'm not sure where we're at, but the final tip would be to have multiple versions of your personal statement with respect to length requirements. One issue that I did run into was that certain application services said uh, 5,300 characters and some said words. So I just thought in my head, okay, they're trying to be fancy. It's the same thing. However, when I went to go copy and paste, it said that I was over the character limit and I found out that characters includes spaces and punctuation. So you just wanna make sure that you have those two versions so you're not having to sit here and you know reconstruct your whole your whole personal statement you already have it ready and you have the two versions ready for whatever they're requiring from whatever application service so two versions from the beginning so you're not stressing out trying to revise it to fit a character limit at the last minute so you guys that is all that i have for you as always i hope that you guys found this to be a valuable resource if you did definitely share this video with somebody who you think could benefit from it if you guys have any questions comments concerns or anything like that you can comment down below i'll make sure that i respond to you in a timely manner i also have an email address in the description box um, if you want any specific questions addressed in a video um, definitely let me know and i will get back to you the email is down there and yeah that is all that i have for you guys as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later Bye. Vision so blurry. Trying to slow it down. Stay close to the ground, but we're always in a hurry now. And if I could make this world spin a little slower.